Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. We built the gun shop last episode, the exterior to it. Today we're going to be jumping inside and doing the range and trying to set up something quite cool looking, I think. I placed a couple of criminals out the side here. These are our criminal faction. I think I've got four or five that I can choose from. I just chose number one and number two uh, to set out the front here. One's got a Desert Eagle and one's got an AK-74U, I think. It's not an AK-47. That's the assault rifle. The AK-74U is the submachine gun uh, variant, I think. At least it was on Call of Duty. I don't know how real that is. So, let's turn the shaders off here and wander inside. Just do a quick refresh on what the plan is here. So, we want... That's the desk to actually buy the guns. So we're going to have to put some sort of clerk behind there. Maybe we'll make an NPC together. I don't think we've ever made an NPC before, have we? Um, not on camera. I've done it off camera. These are drinks machines. These will have body armor or whatever on them. Um, grenades in there. Stuff like that. I think we can do them in item frames will probably be the best way. That is another way that we could potentially do, which is with shelves. And then you can come through here into what will be the gun range. We need to put a false ceiling in here so we don't see all of this underside of junk. And I need to put a wall here so we can't see into the gun range while inside of the shop. Oh, I haven't got those guys on me moving so they just stand there and look pretty. Uh, can I remove that one? I can. Excellent. Alright, so uh, floor we need to think about first. What are the floors like inside of ammunition? I can't remember. Are they just a wooden floor? I'm going to go with just a wooden floor. We're going to go with a black wool floor. <laughs> it's what it says. It says black wool. Uh, down here. I'm going to leave the uh, sand in because we're not going to be able to see the sand anyway. Because we're going to be placing the blocks on top of it. And through here. I don't need to do a... Uh, wooden floor on that side though I can do any color on that side black gray brown whatever it doesn't matter okay uh, a ceiling is going to be next for the ceiling I think I want to just go with a boring silver or gray so let's do this nice and easily replace air with 48 and I might as well do the same in here as well uh, can I do it on this level let me just check to see if it looks way too short or not Feels a little bit short to me. Undo. So, I'm going to have to do it on this level and just keep the red going around the sides. Oh, that, no, redo. Whatever I undone, just redo and do that. Yeah, that feels like a, a much better height. Okay, so, now we need lighting because it's, it's super dark. Let's go with the fluorescent lights. Mm, these ones. I like the covered fluorescents. These are the shelves. That's floating shelf. Shell. Oh, it's just well, the only one it is. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. So, uh, we're going to put some lights down in here. Uh, that one and that one. Try to keep them evenly spaced if possible. I can't. We'll do it like that. That's enough light down here in this room. And then along here, I think we'll do one long light. One big long fluorescent bulb here that runs along there. And we'll put some lights out in the target range when we get that far. The target range is going to be sort of the last thing uh, that we do. Okay, so let's check out what these shelves are like. So these shelves are actually pretty small. But I, I, can we put stuff on them? That's really cool how they stack like that. If I grab the sapling... See, that's pretty cool. Now, you can set up a whole shop, like, style thing where you can buy and sell. I don't know how. Oh, here we go. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay, there you go. Now it's updated. So there is something that can be done. Not assigned to a stock chest. Okay, so we can actually do a pretty simple um, 
uh, thing like that, a shop like that, if we wanted to. But we can also use item frames as well if we wanted to display things in a different way. I think I want to do a bit of both. I think we're going to actually have to replace these now. Along here. And get our shelves. I'm going to stop it at the end there. I'm not going to even go that high. What do they look like if we do them like this? They don't... Oh, they don't... Um, whoops. Uh, they don't rotate. I thought maybe they'd rotate round in a cool way. But you'd have some little body armor on there. I'll have to look into how all that works. Uh, because that actually looks like a pretty cool uh, feature to play with. So let's get a Coca-Cola machine now. Red. Didn't I have like an actual red block? I think it was these, wasn't it? Or something. So they blend into the Coca-Cola bear. That was placeholder, wasn't it? Placeholder. That's the red that we set it up for. Although I might keep the darker red for the bottom. Yeah, Coca-Cola machine. Uh, button. And we can stick some apples in here. Apple, otherwise known as Coca-Cola. And then we can grab ourselves a Coke. That's cool, right? Got to have a drinks machine. Well, they have um, Splunk, Sprunk, isn't it something like that? It's a Sprite, uh, but they yeah they have it differently, don't they? In the in the game. Okay, uh, glass counter. I think would just be cool. We'll have some white stained glass as a cat. Oh yeah, as a counter in here. I think we'll put a carpet on top. Uh, grey. Or black. Uh, or oh, I might not have a black carpet. No, I don't. I might go with a lighter grey then because that grey is blending in with the wall look. And I don't like that. So I think going like that would be a little bit better. Uh, we're going to have the NPC set up behind here. Um, that should be enough room though still. And then item frames. We'll have set up behind here with some guns we'll have it like that i probably do a second row as well like that i could put them in the corner but uh i don't like it i don't think it'll look quite as good i like the in fact i might take those away as well so i've got them like one block spare on either side of the wall there and one block spare either side uh there and there and i think that's pretty good do these curve around the corner this way no they don't oh that would be cool they need to do that they need to update it to, to be able to do that Okay, anything else in the gun shop that we want on the interior? I haven't even got any images to look at. Um, I could do a little bit of a coving around the side here. Slab. Uh, black, maybe? Nope. There we go. Just takes away a, a harsh corner. Yeah, I think that's an improvement. I think that helps. Um, no, I think we're about there. Oh, and I could put item frames on the glass here as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So then we'll put a load of guns in there. Let's do that. Let's put the guns in. Uh, so we've got guns in here. And we've got ammo and all sorts. Ammo we'll have in the glass cases. So let's just choose some guns first. Let's go with, oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and we've got attachments as well. Attachments I'll put on this on the left side. Let's do that first. So attachment, uh, attachment. Trying to find out what these some of these attachments are. That's just ammo, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, claymores and stuff. Uh, binoculars. I suppose we could just do accessories on the side wall because it's actually quite a lot of room, isn't there? Another scope. Riot shield, I mean, why not? What's that thing? Poison ammo. Molotov cocktail, every Grand Theft Auto game has to have one of those. P90 ammo, flashlight, grenade, and I'll have to get some more stuff. So, if we go in here. Can I not put the claymores in there? Oh, I cannot. It would shift click into the first three, but not the last one. How very strange. Yeah, it doesn't shift click into the last one. Okay, I'm going to need a lot more stuff, aren't I? But that looks cool as, right? 
So I got down to the uh, grenade, didn't I? Grenade. Uh, that one. A sentry gun. Are you kidding me? I haven't even looked at that. I didn't even know we had that. Um, red dot sight. I don't know what a rocket pod is, but we'll just grab one. We'll put it over there. Silencer. Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. You know what? I'm going to do this off camera, okay? Um, I don't think I've got anything in, in here. These are all the vehicles, but there is... No, 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 no. Uh, vehicle parts, nope. Uh, ar uh, armor I'll have in the middle here. I might take some of these off and just use what I've got here and spread them out. Yeah. Yeah, hang on. We can probably do this together. Let's just take some out. Like, we'll have two in each one. Uh, and it just doesn't matter which ones we put them in. So we'll just have them like that one and that one. That one. And that one. That one. You know, that'll probably do, won't it? That's like a pretty good uh, looking wall there anyway. Okay, so in the middle here we want some clothes. We want stuff that is going to be quite good. Like Juggernaut. Ooh, it's gone. Pick it up. Juggernaut thing I think would make sense to have. Uh, exoskeleton. Nope. Uh, riot though, if we can get, oh yeah, cloaker goggles, SWAT helmet, no, you could get that off the police, potentially, um, I want just body armor, don't I have bod, body armor, SWAT body armor, body armor, there we go, yeah, so I've got body armor now, uh, one, two, three, and what else would we want in here? I want some cool stuff. No, no, no mechs. Cash machines. Oh, yeah, I need to start putting cash machines around the place more. Admin shop. Oh, yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Phoenix Road tools. I think that's more for survival. Nope, nope. Nope. Mm, oh, nope. There might be some stuff in here, though. Handcuffs. Hmm. Phone. Nope. What's that block? Oh, that's because I changed the place. Ah, yeah, here's some other armors. Uh, but these are a little bit more clothes rather than armor. And anything in here that we would want to add? I don't think so. I think I want to stick mostly with the uh, flan stuff. Uh, we want to have... Oh, smoke grenades. Yes. Parachute, yes. Um, I don't need to worry about fuel, though. Nope, that should be good. I forgot about MC Heli. MC Heli's a good mod for weapons and stuff. Okay, and then, oh, that's, that's not quite as good. So, uh, let's have smoke grenades on one side. So we'll have that one, that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, should be that up. Yeah. Move it across. There we go. And then on this side, we'll have the body armor. That one. And that one. That one. And that one. Okay. Uh, and then guns along this last wall. So we'll have uh, some really decent guns. We don't need to worry about that. We want this one. Yeah. Has it moved either? No. Right? No, we're good. Uh, so for weapons... We want to start off smaller weapons, uh, or we'll have melee weapons. Do I have many melee weapons? I want melee weapons down the bottom. <coughs> no, we're going to do ammo in the bottom, won't we? Yes, yeah, do ammo in the bottom. So we'll just choose some random ammo. It doesn't really matter which one. Ooh. Ammo in the bottom. That one. I don't think I've got really any like worthwhile melee weapons. Just picking some ammo that like looks cool. Uh, shotgun shells. I don't want no sort of boring one. Oh, I forgot that foregrip for the attachments. There we go. And want something cool looking. There you go. Boop. 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 Oh, I didn't need that many, did I? Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's actually in the glass too, okay? And then for the guns, 
starting off small and getting bigger we can go pretty as crazy on this as we want so let's go with well let's just choose the guns as we go do guns as we go g3 sniper rifle acr m16 p90 m21 i don't know what a bison is i think it's a shotgun by the looks of it that's just me looking at it i've never heard of that gun before so big gun oh it even like makes me point forward that's how heavy it is uh g3 is an assault rifle that's a sniper rifle assault rifle assault rifle submachine gun sniper rifle i think a shotgun i'll put that in the middle uh light machine gun cancel uh golden desert eagle why not uh dragon off is a sniper pistol uh, assault rifle submachine gun rocket launcher I, don't, I think we've got too many sniper rifles now so i'm going to stop picking up sniper rifles uh i think the m10 is a shotgun i'm not quite sure i'm just going to put it in the shotgun area because it shouldn't be that far away submachine gun boop i think it's a shotgun sniper rifle big old gun mini uzi uh pistol pistol dragon off nope so i want an assault rifle and a pistol pistol and some machine mp5 that's a popular one we'll have that as well mp5 okay so we've got the guns on the wall now as well all right that looks absolutely sick for a gun shop uh in the range here this should be a, a relatively simple build we're going to put a wall up there we're going to put a top over it like this and down here I'm going to put a bottom on it and then we're going to divide some sections up here. I'm going to leave this blank. Uh, we'll put a counter, I think, along here. Uh, just a block, grey block will do uh, with a carpet on top just to make it look a little bit uh, not boring. Uh, I will go with red to match the outside. There you go, just a counter there so people can put their guns down and stuff. I could put these on here as well. Okay, uh, let's bust our way through so we can get in here. Clear my inventory. I'm trying to work quick now because I want to... Uh, oops. Uh, I want to build an NPC to finish off with. So, for the floor in here, let's just go with uh, stone. Replace air with stone. Uh, just nice grey then, you see. Uh, we want some fluorescent bulbs fluorescent bulbs uh i'll run them down where the walls will be so they're not in the way i'll just run them down that one and this one and one more isn't it and here need it nice and bright you don't want no darkness down here do you and then for the targets we'll do um walls I use this one because it's got a nice little line on it uh, with, I don't know, a coloured piece of wool. We'll do a red wool uh, with a button on it as a target. So we'll have one here, one here. We'll have like two on each one at varying distances. Like that. Stick a button on the front as like a little target to aim at. <coughs> yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Nice and easy and basic. And then we can get ourselves a gun. Can I shoot without any ammo in creative? No. ACR. I love these. Look, reload. That's so cool, right? Yeah. Fire. Oh, but I get infinite ammo on creative. Yeah, yeah. So. You get recoil as well. I'm having to move my mouse down to keep that low and everything. Okay, really, really cool. Let's finish off then with making an NPC. We'll be able to do pretty much everything uh, apart from uh, skin because I don't think I have a skin uh, for him. 
because some of these are pretty broken. Yeah, like that. Uh, mind you, he doesn't look like terribly bad for like a gun owner. He's got like little holsters for guns on his jacket. Yeah, we'll have him. Uh, oh no, I do have a gun. Oh, do I have a gun shop? I have a gun accessory guy. Hold on. Um, cloner. Attachment trader. Weapons trader. Oh, I do have one. I do have one. And then we can have attachments trader. Who has the same skin. Okay, we'll change his skin. To casual Steve. And can these guys walk about? Movement. Standing. Just so they don't leave and, and, and wander off somewhere. Standing. That's pretty cool, right? So if I click on him, I can buy uh, specific guns and ammo for him, uh, from him. Oh, yeah, we do have some melee weapons. We have knives and stuff. Okay. And attachments trader. I can obviously expand uh, upon this a little bit. They talk to you as well. That's all they say, though. I have what you need. So if you want to make one of these for your own and you have the M custom NPC um, plugin or uh, mod... It's as simple as this. We'll just run through it quickly. You can name your guy here, uh, Benny Boy. Uh, we can change scale. You can change basically the first page is how they look. Uh, stats is stats. How much health they've got. How fast they walk. How fast they the regen. Do they drown? Their eye. This is where it gets can get a little bit more complicated. Uh, you can set if you want them to wander or a specific moving path. You can even set coordinates and stuff that you want them to walk to. So you could set up like a daily routine for a specific AI to do. But you still have to set up each one individually unless you use scripting, which is on the lot. Yeah, it can get a little bit complicated. I know Etho worked a little bit on that on one of his series. So this is his inventory and the drop chance. So we could put a wand in there and give that a 50% chance to drop if we kill him. Um, that would be a bad idea though. So all, all of my guys that I've got set up have this. This is where you'd put their armor and what weapons they're holding and stuff. If you're going to do ammo, guns and ammo, then you need to put projectiles in the um, arrow slot. And yeah, factions that they're joined to. So these are joined to uh, blue is um, traders. Uh, red are criminals. Blue are policemen. Uh, things like that. I've got them all down here. In fact, we can have a look. Uh, command, is that where it is? Nope, that's just some random command place that I've got. Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, NPCs, there we go. So they're all down here. Uh, can I reset you all? Reset all. There we go. No, 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 no. Reset all, freeze. So yeah, green are emergency services. Yellow are just civilians. Red, criminals. Blue are traders, uh, extra traders. Oh, you're like a better version of what my I had with accessories, wasn't he? Because he had a different skin and everything. I don't even have extras trader down here. Oh, and this was my original um, ATM design, which is just an ender chest. With KFC and burgers in them. Um, but now we've got a new ATM style machine, don't we, that we can use. Which is a little bit more smart, smarter because you need cards and stuff. And pins. But uh, yeah. I may still go with that design. It's simple, isn't it? I'm going to leave it there anyway, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want anything, feel free to subscribe. I think we've got a cracking little gun shop now. And uh, we shall see you in the next episode. Maybe we'll be back at the... NASA place again? I don't know. Why are they green? They need to be reset. Oh, unfreeze. That's why. Yeah, when you freeze and they all go neutral. Okay.